Welcome back to Destination Playdate. I am your host, Attack Slug, and this is Hill Slide out now on itch for a price of two dollars. It is a 2D snowboarding game with a mountain that is procedurally made. Let's hop in here and show you how that works. The A button adjusts your gravity. B button will slow you down, and the D-pad does the tricks in midair. And there are a number of tricks to get. Uh, once you unlock the boost, the, the lower right hand corner, then when you are perhaps caught up on a slope you don't want to be caught up on, then you boost. Like that right there, if I had the boost filled up, I would use the boost right there and we'd be good. Now, at 200 meters, every time the avalanche starts, and that is bad, outrun the avalanche. And my biggest tip here when you begin the game is just look, crash five times immediately, because there are a number of tasks to complete, and once you get those completed, then you get upgrades. And the upgrades make the game so much better to play. Like, it's not even funny how much better it is once you get at least one upgrade. And I would say get speed first, because speed is very important. So let's get up in the air here and hopefully get some tricks done without totally botching it. So there, I, sh I should have s slowed down. So B in midair slows you down to get that better acclimated for making those sick snow jumps. And there's your 200 meter avalanche every time. And in the bottom now you have a meter saying, hey man, avalanche is coming this way and that's a problem. And it keeps your top three high scores, but it's itch, so that means no online leaderboards. Now, in the tasks menu, and as you can see, I've done the five avalanche deal, and otherwise the bar there is how is how close you've come to completing those other tasks. So I've gotten the multiplier of three in a jump, and I've obviously not done a whole lot of these, but once you complete any given task, it gives you a token. And the tokens are spent in the upgrade menu. So max speed, adding a boost, and increasing the gravity multiplier. I would say either the top one or the bottom one get first. But honestly, for me, it is speed first because you need that speed to get higher and higher jumps to get more tricks in your trick thing. Now, in your handbook, I've played here about an hour. I've had a good run here of almost 1,000. And then also, here are the tricks that I've currently uncovered. I have not gotten them all yet, but they're all pretty much D-pad combinations. Now, you also have a training thing to kind of show you, hey man, this is when you want to hit the A button. Hit it here, and then do it like that. So, get on that slope properly, and perhaps break if you need a break, and then do it like that. See? That is how the nature of gravity works in this. I played games on, this, on the phone that are kind of like this, so... I kind of had a good idea of what it would be or should be, but that is indeed training. Also, the option to say, hey man, that mountain in the background, distracting. We'll turn it off. Now it's just a starry night here in the background as we concentrate on hitting these slopes in a proper manner without any further issues. But yeah, you get your speed up here and then you kind of do tricks in the air and hopefully multiple to increase your multiplier. I will try now to have a good run and not botch things like I did last time because, yeah, I already botched things. But that is the nature of playing games and talking at the same time. It just doesn't always work out the way you want it to work out, right? So, get some speed here, get some tricks in the air, do a good flip. If you would do a tap double, then you get a different flip. And of course, you want to hit different directions to get different tricks. Uh, but yes, you are getting a score here just like being on the slope, but obviously, to get a higher score, you want to hit those tricks. That's not a... Shouldn't do that. Nope, that was bad. I thought we were getting more air there. I didn't get more air there. Done procedurally, so it's kind of hard to predict what you're going to end up running into because you can't see that far ahead of you. It is in a 4-3 window here. So we're trying to get some... At least something going here. It's just been rough so far. Yeah, that... There we go. All right, that's definitely... Man, a little bit more height there would have been ideal. And here comes the freaking avalanche. I'm like, I'm not, just not getting into a good rhythm for some reason. I don't know why. All right, here. Now, do one of those. Do one of those. And I certainly should not do that much. But as you can see, I am trying my best here in hill slide. And perhaps this is just a thing on mirror where it's just not going well for me. Because, I again, I've gotten... Almost a thousand. That was like 300. So, yeah. 
This definitely runs better on the actual play date and in mirror it's just giving me issues. I'm not sure if that's just me or filming or the game. I know it's not having the audio right because if there's no audio here in the video, it's because the audio is not right here through mirror. But I assure you, it does play well on the actual hardware itself. In any event, I am your host, Attack Slug. More videos right here on this channel. Keep on cranking. Link down in the description. Hill slide out now. Two bucks on itch. I'll see you next time right here. And I'm out.